Pope Francis travels to Panama to participate in the First World Youth Day held in Central America. The event has triggered an unusual enthusiasm in the region and is expected to be a particularly exciting trip. Pope Francis leaves Rome on Wednesday, January 23rd at 9.30 a.m. He'll land after a 13-hour trip, around 4.30 p.m. Panama time. He'll be in Panama until Sunday afternoon, January 27th, and then he'll make the long journey back to Rome to arrive on Monday at noon. While in Panama, he'll be transported in a Pope mobile built by locals there. It's Pope Francis's 26th trip, and he's already visited 40 countries. This will be the 14th World Youth Day, Pope Francis's third, and the first one in Central America. In Panama, there will be around 250,000 pilgrims from 155 countries, including China and Cuba. There will be 37,000 volunteers working tirelessly and about 3,000 journalists covering the event. This World Youth Day costs $54 million, which have been paid with money from pilgrims and donations from sponsors. The country is expecting a $250 million benefit, apart from the great tourist impact in Central America. The most impressive moments will be the Pope's multitudinous meetings. The last one on Sunday is in an area called Metro Park. There, the Pope will announce where the World Youth Day will be in 2022. Pope Francis will also pray the Way of the Cross in the spectacular Cinta Costera of Panama, among its spectacular skyscrapers. In addition, the Pope is going to visit a juvenile prison. There, he will hear confessions of several young people and will greet the prisoners who built the confessionals. He will also visit a center where the church cares for AIDS patients without resources. It's called the Casa Hogar Buen Samaritano Foundation. As a religious event, the Pope will consecrate the spectacular Cathedral of Santa Maria la Antigua. The organizers have dedicated World Youth Day to the Blessed Mother. That's why this original size image will travel from Fatima, even though it's never left Portugal since 2000. The closing mass will also be attended by presidents of some countries of the region, such as Colombia, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. The President of Portugal and the First Lady of Poland will also be there.